Now, I told y'all in the last tie that I was going to start focusing on getting better at fishing wet flies. And the first one we did in this effort was the partridge and hare's ear. Now, I was serious about this commitment, but the only way I could really force myself to do this and not break out my box of dry flies as soon as I see a, any bugs in the air was to leave all that at home. And that is exactly what I did. I spent last Saturday morning on the gunpowder, totally minimalist. One small chest pack, some extra tippet, and then one box of wet flies. And this was really hard for me, but after a little while, I started getting the hang of it, started picking the right seams and getting some good drifts. And I was on the water for about four hours. I did manage six fish, nothing huge, but you know, I'll take six fish over zero fish any day. And I did lose two. Probably the biggest fish of the day was obviously one that I lost, but it was totally my fault. I had to continually remind myself that when fishing wet flies downstream, you can't set the hook like you can when dry fly fishing. So in the heat of the moment, I probably just panicked and, you know, yanked the hook right out of this guy's mouth. But I'm not giving up on my wet fly education. I'm going to try the same thing on the Savage River this next weekend, but I want to have one more fly in my box. And this one's from Dave Hughes Wet Flies. It's called the Grizzly and Gray Flimp. It's a pretty simple generic pattern. Doesn't represent anything exactly, but it looks enough like a lot of things that I think this might do all right. So there you go, in the vise, Dave Hughes Grizzly and Gray Flimp. Certainly a buggy looking pattern, but most flimps are. Now I'm gonna tie this on a size 12. This is a one extra strong, one extra long barbless wet fly hook. I'll put a base of black thread down to where I'm going to catch in the tail. And the tail, just some fibers from a grizzly hen. And not terribly long, maybe just less than a body, a little short of a, a body length here. I think that will be fine right there. And don't worry about these nubs. We're going to bury that with a fuzzy body. And the next component is a rib, just a small oval gold tinsel. I'm sure silver would be fine, but the recipe calls for gold, and I have it, so I'm using it. Catch this in up front, take it all the way to the back. We're going to start the body. Leave your thread in the back, put a good bit of wax on it here. And the body, just muskrat dubbing. I got a little patch right here, I snip some out and then tried to pull all the guard hairs out. Didn't get them all right there. But we're gonna dub about maybe a three inch noodle right here. Don't worry about if it's uh, too fuzzy or lumpy because we've got that you know, rib that will help us shape it if we need to. Okay, that's gonna be fine because the hackle we're going to put up front is, you know, almost a third of the fly. So I'm going to go ahead and counter wrap this rib. And the hackle is grizzly hen. You can use that same feather we snipped for the tail. And I'll just create a little tie-in point like that right there. Let's take our thread back a little bit farther so we can get a few more wraps of this on here. So catch this in, I'm gonna fold it back to just, you know, make sure it's really secure. And I'll take my thread up here to where we're gonna finish the hackle. Do have a little stub right here, that tip to take care of. And now just wrap this. You might get four, maybe five wraps. And don't worry if they're sticking out, a lot of flimps end up looking like that, but it's still going to have wet fly, soft hackle action through the water. Okay, when you got it up there, go ahead and catch this off and snip the excess. And let's clean up this head. I'm just gonna pull these back and ramp my head back up. And we'll whip finish it, see if we have any cleanup. And there we go. 
I got a little bit of fuzz going up there in the eye, but I can still get my tippet through there. So I'm gonna put some head cement on this thing and call it done. So that's it, my friends, the Grizzly and Gray Flimp. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.